ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuned into the PST right here, coming to you live from San Francisco on your man Big Von, the boy Dame, right here somewhere on the September 23rd, sad day, no justice for what we were really looking for, but you know, we're going to try to make the best of it one time, you know, got a few questions, I want to ask everybody, you know, not too heavy, not too wild, because I just found out there's Wapsicles coming out. In the middle, there should be some chocolate. And if you read the bottom, it says it's like a nice uh, ball in the center. And I think that's the pearl. So today's question is, if you had to eat the Wapsicle, where would you start at? Ah, David, you're a king chef, man. You know the best way to start eating all these things. So where would you start eating the Wapsicle from? Do tell. <laughs> Scotty! <laughs> He's with it. Jess, would you eat a little Wapsicle? Magic, magic. He's down with it. Is it cream frosting? If you lick it hard enough, it will be. No? What's the best place to... Uh, uh, what's what's crack, man? What's going on there, buddy? I'm, I'm reporting live, man. Reporting live. We gonna get to that. You gotta put your mask back on? What's going on? Chill up, man. Is that, is, that, is that gonna be like the wrestling ice cream? Yeah, the Wapsicles. You know what I'm saying? Chocolate in the middle. I haven't found an ice cream as good as the wrestling ice cream ever. So with the Wapsicle, where would you start eating at? I like the, the right corner of the buns. That's my that's my start off. <laughs> <laughs> and do you go to the middle or do you leave that part? No, I'm I'm more of the cheap guy, dog. No. You're just a cheap guy, you gonna leave the rest of the on the stick like that? That's not no fun. That's no fun at all. No, man, I'm, I'm a cheap guy, dog. I ain't, I'm going to leave the middle alone. Uh, see? Ah, see, my man David, he's a he's a, a professional when it comes to food, and he knows about the eating. He says you must eat the center first. Like dive straight in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No warm-up? No, straight to the middle. Just get to the, you got to get to the middle and go for it. Find the center. How many licks does it take to get to the stick, though? That's what I want to know. Does it take one, a two, a are you going to try? Are you going to try it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> might as well. Fuck. Are you going to do it live on PST or are you going to private? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, they got to ask me. They got to tell me they want to see that. Me sitting there eating a uh, Wopsicle live on there. Well, hella nasty music going on in the background. Some Jodeci or something. That's nasty. I ain't going to oh. lie. That's, that's fire promo, though. Having cheek, well, you know, I'm all about the kids, man, and seeing having getting young boys to eat ass early. You know what I'm saying? You see your little young nephew over there, and he just he's just fucking up the middle. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Because you know, you know kids I mean? don't even know what they eat at all. You know I mean, what I'm saying? They said they want to see you eat it on BSD. <laughs> oh my god! And then you gotta like, you know, baby mom's like, oh, you eat it just like your daddy, and then it just be. A <laughs> <laughs> you eat it like your father. Oh, get it on your face. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to see a little boy have you come back as brown on his face. He had a chocolate. Yeah, because like, you, you got to do all this. It's like, it's oh. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, boy, get the wap off your face. The wap sickle. I love the get promo, your life though. together. I wish they would do yeah, it. It would. It would. Jay Valentine said he want to be in the commercial. Slow licking like a <laughs> halftime of the Super Bowl. Do you have your wapsicle? <laughs> that feels like a dream. Hey, Jay, Jay gonna be in there smiling like the Just For Me commercial, eating the wapsicle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yo, he said, uh, put, oh, no, nah, I'm going to the stick. Why does he even have sticks in it? They should just have no stick. We just split I mean, it in the middle. Because if, if they got a stick in it, that's going to be very yeah. disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a surprise whack. You know what I mean? It's all types. You should feel away after that whack. Mm -mm. Where you at? You at dinner? No, I just finished. I, I got lost in the desert today. You got lost in the desert? What you mean? You know when you're on the ATV things? Yeah. The tour guy said, you know, it was 40 of us, so, you know, you're supposed to stay in the line and follow the rules. Right. Niggas. Nobody follows the rules. 
Niggas is out there doing donuts on the island. <laughs> and three out of four, the, uh, the tour guy said, man, fuck this, y'all. We gone. They, they turned around and left us. That was so, y'all you know, get. Man, I, I took the streets. I broadcast live trying to get back. <laughs> Are you by yourself right now? Yeah. Can you speak about your safety? Oh, this nigga with the warm up Wi Fi. I My said, headphones on. So, can you speak about your safety? <laughs> we all good, y'all. We all good. So, tell the story because Dan didn't make it yesterday and we did the 10 questions that he won't let me ask. And when I, someone hit me today, he said Dan was hanging out and it was a shootout in Las Vegas and Dan was there. And I didn't, I didn't catch, I didn't catch it till like a couple hours ago. Were you there when the shootout went down? No, I was, I was at the casino. I don't know. I was at the casino. Why is there a shootout to Las Vegas? I don't know. <laughs> like, why? There's nobody from there lives there. Why are they shooting? I got to look at the internet. I don't know what's, what's happening. Oh, we'll leave it at that then. We'll leave it at that then. <laughs> you want to talk about it. <laughs> now, there's a lot of flossing going on. You know, black folks like to get the Louis belts, and they like to get the cars, and they like to drink the expensive liquid. Do you know what the new flex is coming in? Do you know what the new flex is going to be? What? New teeth? Nope. Take another guess. What? Guess, nigga. New, new, new teeth, new bags. Buying your man the Maybach? Nope. <laughs> the new floss now is the rich people are buying high-end air filters because the West Coast got all the fires. So they're taking up all the air. Remember they saying they wouldn't sell water. Now they sell water all the time. They're borderline selling air at this point. Clean air. I, so what do you like put in your house? You put it in your house and they put uh, air filtration in your cars. That's what the rich folk is doing. Mm. That's the popping? new flex. Am I? Mm. Uh, when I read the story today, I thought about it because those last two weeks around here was really scary. <laughs> like We had bad air. You couldn't breathe. I was like, wait, I can't breathe? So, so do, when people come into your, like, when guests stop by your house, do you, like, turn the air off so you don't waste it on random guests? You don't bring guests over. You go to their house. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying, if I bought some air, I wouldn't want to share my air. Why you don't want to share your air? Because it's cost. <laughs> it's oh, cost. hot water, you're skipping over. She spread, she's messing up my stories. Getting to it. Hey, you know one thing you said, though, about these EDD? These designer stores need to have two lines, man. They need to have a line before EDD customers and for the current EDD customers. There's no reason why we got to stand these lines like a Jordan release line. <laughs> they got to cut that shit out. I am not new to this. That's what my man said. I am not new to this. Let me get what I want. Nah, the, those folks going to jail. You see that lawyer go out and says, hey, yo, were you caught up in a scam? Did you go to, to the ATM and take out a thousand dollars a day? Call me just in case they come knocking at your door. But how can you get? How can you beat it? How can you get what? How is she gonna beat that case for them? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> she she posing the picture with stolen shit. <laughs> I seen her page though. She was kind of fired too. No, see, no. I want, I want an ugly Bertha. Ain't seen nothing that she ain't on no dates. I want she was at. She studied my case. She ain't trying to return no nigga text because oh, I ain't got time for that shit. Oh, you, you want Bertha who, who fight, who, who going to sleep on your case, waking up to your case all day. That's what I want. Ashley on air was happening. She's mad at me because she's a. Uh, she didn't get no pizza. She didn't send. Her, she live in Texas. Wanted to send her some pizza. I said she gotta come get it. She's she hungry. Little. She was on IG Live today with uh, South Star. Child I know, I jumped South in. Star. Shout out to my man Rob. I ain't seen him in 10 years. That shit was yeah, incredible. Well, he had one of the greatest lines when he said, uh, my dough is my dough. Your dough is my dough. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to him one time, man. And yeah, since uh, Hot Water jumped in and told me, Gavin Newsom put something out there by, uh, he's, I think it's in 2035, there'll be no gas cars sold in a uh, California. So we'll be all electronic? Electric, not electronic. electric yeah. You sound like I'm an old bad. black man talking about hey, you got an electronic car, boy. Why don't make hey, no man. make no noise when you start it? Is it on? Is it on? So what, what would you gonna do with your old schools? Oh, shit. You just don't get 
Got to figure out how to put some flex capacity in that motherfucker. What you talking about? <laughs> Y'all niggas is fucking up the air anyway. Loud ass pipes, loud ass cars, all that shit. That shit is out of here. They shut your Bye. shit down. Bro, you sound like one of those. Turn that ribbity rabbity off, man. All day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I, thought a real, I got a real life fucking story for you, right? So, <laughs> by my house, I've been living there for years, B. It ain't, it's been quiet. Ain't shit been going on. For the past, like, six months, I've been hearing. Rrr! I got fed up about two weeks ago. I went looking for these niggas. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do. But I was on old nigga status for real. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all turn that, cut that shit out. Turn around and circus and shit. Fucking up the streets. All this black mark on the highway. Yeah, cut the shit out. Folks definitely making their way out towards you, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I love my people, hate my people, man. You, you, But you definitely qualify as one of the people who say, there goes the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're like, you been there. <laughs> Yeah, I watched it happen. You know, you know your neighborhood crazy when like the rowdy niggas you only see at nighttime and shit like that. You go to the store and you run into them. Hey, Vaughn, what the fuck is you doing out here? I lived out here. What? Oh shit! Oh, hey, look, you, you know what's so funny though? Cause like uh, our D moved uh, out the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He he calls me so angry when he see people around. <laughs> 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 hey yo tell me if i'm naive because i'm not sure my daughter taught me about this she said you know your neighborhood about to get fucked up when they put a new apartment complex in there there was never no apartment complex oh, they come. When it, right so i went around the corner and i seen one being built i said shit <laughs> she was right fuck yeah the, the, the joints is about to be they'll, they'll be a hood in five years they'll be no <laughs> No, nah, sorry. Please, Lord, please. You know what I'm saying? Remember, yeah, you know, you do, know, you, do, have, you, do you have a Walmart by your crib? Oh, nigga, target? do I? Oh, well, there you go. The Walmart is the one that brings it off. It, it need to explain this to me. How does a Walmart parking lot get so dirty? What is niggas <laughs> doing in the parking lot? A Walmart parking lot is a different type of dirty. And what makes y'all niggas want to take your gloves off right there in the in the parking lot and throw them on the floor? <laughs> this shit is fucked up. That's why they always talk about Target. You got to you got people like Target. Target. Nah. I, I'm I'm good with a Target being in my neighborhood rather than a Walmart. The Target is right next to the Walmart, so it's just the same oh, shit. Well. And you know, you think, okay, I'm gonna go to Target, be cool. It ain't gonna be no riffraff in there. And all you see is them half cut leggings with the fuzzy <laughs> slippers. Shit. But our baby daddy walking exactly 10 feet behind her. She's going forward. He's 10 feet behind her so he can look at other women in the target. You I'm definitely like, oh. gotta look out for the furry slippers, man. Oh, bro. That's how you know your neighborhood is going down. <laughs> it's going down. You'd have got me off topic. I'm fucked up right now. I really That's thought about it. You know what That's I mean? Good, your man Kodak Black says that they're torturing him in prison and he's trying to sue. It you looks like he's not doing worked? well. Do what? Do those things ever work when people say I'm suing the jail? Nah. I think they're going to do them like Andy Dupree. Remember that? Shawshank Redemption? They're going to fuck him up. <laughs> I'm saying, talking. like, do it ever work? I've never seen nobody be like, oh, yeah, the, the jail awarded them $10 million. Like, what? Nah. And then you can't get the money because you're in jail. What they going to do? You get you a lavish sale? Oh, like I tell people, man, don't go to jail. It's not, it's not meant to be fun. <laughs> this man, and he got the worst case. <laughs> Scotty said, how many cases do we, did he beat, though? He do he do his time and come back. But eventually, they just got to keep him. Yeah, got to keep him in I'm there. Let him stay. I ain't going to say keep him. Why? Why? I don't, I don't wish nobody to stay in jail. Man. All right. I said it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I said it for you. You got a sexual assault case. You niggas get sexual assault case. You gotta go. You gotta stay. I'm not, I'm not free nothing. Nope. You got a so sexual when, assault when, case. When you gonna be coming home next year? Who cares? That's one I don't look up for. Niggas say free Kodak. <laughs> Who? Oh no. Keep that to yourself. Y'all yeah, disappointed. The, the youth is so disappointed. All oh, they stars is gone. Oh man, you know my motto: fuck them kids. <laughs> 
and I live by that 100 percent you know speaking you of are fucking the, kids, you are the president of the community I'm not only am I the president <laughs> I'm also a client of fuck them kids you know what I mean oh I had a full thing yesterday about when is it okay to punch kids in the face and uh Jen hit me after like yo you just can't be punching kids in the face I'm like what you mean <laughs> I'm good oh, for a, a good chest shot. I don't know about the face. In the face, my joint came from when they when they go when they go to grandmama's house and they play uh they play WAP for her and they record it. Nah, clothesline. My man Renee called me today. He said, "Yo, you right? I clothesline the fuck out of kid if they playing a uh, playing WAP in front of Big Mama. They getting drop kicked. Fuck them kids. Yeah. And they dog. I give them a good chest shot. I don't know about nah, the face. Nah, nah." Jaw piece. Ah, hey, fuck listen, is wrong listen, with the you? Same kids gonna go. They gonna hold you down when you older. Who? They not holding themselves down now. No, you can tell the good kids between the bad kids. If y'all got yeah. bad kids, y'all niggas on your own when y'all get older. Just off yourself, cause these little motherfuckers ain't taking care of you. But now, let's say you you punch your nephew in his, in his face. Right. Your daughter. You you now you just now you're seventy five year old. Vibe. These little assistants. Not a help. Not a lot right. of assistants. Right. Your daughter is off. Traveling the world. Yes. And Lil Neff got to come help you. Nah. I ain't fuck with Lil Nuck Nuck. I ain't fuck with them niggas. That's why you got to befriend other people's kids when they, like, when they, uh, like, <laughs> when they, uh, small and you think they, you're a good kid, man. What you want for Christmas? And befriend them. Them fuck up kids? Hell nah. Drop rather, kick them when you, you see them. You rather somebody take care of, Mr. Take care of Mr. Vaughn rather than Uncle Vaughn? <laughs> All day. We got to go check on Mr. Vaughn right now. Bring him a plate. That's right. Bring it on over. Yeah, okay. What you talking about? Fuck them kids. <laughs> Fuck them up. Fuck these kids. They just doing anything. Harassing old people. Trying to put them in TikTok videos and shit. Playing pranks on women and going to church. 80 years. These nigga playing pranks on the old lady. Fuck these kids. I, I don't care. Yeah, man. I feel you. Sometimes I feel like that. Then, I, then my, my, my heart gets open and I say, the kids don't know no better, but you're right, though. Man, I knew I would say fuck them kids when, uh, what was that last? When after the George Floyd shit, I went to go get Lex something for his birthday downtown Walnut Creek. Oh, they were tearing it up. Oh, young niggas was out there. They wasn't protesting. They was getting all they could get. <laughs> I said, oh, young niggas, y'all ain't even stealing right, man. Fuck all you kids. I was yelling out the window. Yeah, Only thing man. I didn't do is when a nigga ran down the way, the police went by and go, there you go. I kept that one in, so I ain't 100% fucking kids. But I'm at like 95% though. Almost. Thank you, Team Monroe. You know what I mean? And speaking of punching people in the face, Quavo is about tired of academics. Now, this is a two-part question. I need you to pay attention. You ready? I'm tuned in. Okay. Academics on their little show, Everyday Struggle, they got this thing called On the Clock. Meaning that it's almost time for a certain group or person to rap and need to check out or are going to check out because they're not hot anymore. And right. he said that the Migos is on the clock. They about out of here. And they said, and one of them said, well, he with Sweetie right now. He said, oh, she's just an internet chick. Quavo said, look here, buddy. If you pull up, I won't punch you in the face. I'll play our new music. And you can see we still got heat. But what you're not going to do is call my girl an internet girl. Two things. What do you think academics should do? And do you feel the same way as academics? Migos are definitely on the clock. <laughs> but I've always said that they're still younger. They're not even 20. I think they're only 26. So right. they definitely got a chance to, to redeem themselves. But you know, a lot of these artists is on the clock. We didn't, we didn't got three or four singles out of a lot of these artists that we acting like they just ain't ain't happy. <laughs> <laughs> See, and if you was if you was academics, hey, you know, I think academics is pussy. I don't care for him that much. You know what I'm saying? Is. He's proud of it too. But I think he need to get in the gym. He got to whoop, whoop one, one nigga. nigga. He got to he got to whoop one nigga to get niggas off his line. At least one. He got to oh, get gotta one get fade. One, one fade. He got to get one. He got to tear somebody up, too. Yeah, but he got to be a, a reputable nigga. You just can't jump Stop. on a little nigga. <laughs> you can't just jump on a little nigga. He got he to gotta catch one. 
You know what I mean? But that ain't his. That ain't even his feed. We so scared. It's, it's not, but when niggas openly talking to you like, hey, you need, I ain't gonna punch you in the face, but nigga, See, it's I, this, I, it's that. I thought the Migos beef was with Joe Budden. I didn't thought, I didn't think it was academics. Uh, he said a few things about him, but they just don't appreciate him. They really but, don't like Joe. I mean, Joe Budden, but yeah. but I do respect you know. that, that him standing there for for Sweetie though. You know, Sweetie the homie, man. She more than just an internet girl. I ain't giving her that one. You can't have you two go. records and not be like you can't have three, two and a half, three records and be considered an internet girl. What is Fetty Wap? No, he, he just the clock ran out. <laughs> <laughs> like he had it. Fetty had it now. The clock just ran out. That's it. That's what it was. Some hey, Mel. Hey, hey, Susan. Hey, sometimes the clock just runs out. Yeah. Okay. The ball for too long. You got to <laughs> How you, you gonna shoot? Good. You only got one eye. He was you shooting gotta, the best he could. He's still put going. Out records, man. He did. He even put out a movie. Betty was in a movie. He put out his own movie. Huh? That's probably why the clock ran out. <laughs> Go look it up. It's called Eye for an Eye. You sat yeah. there. I think it's on uh, Hood Flicks or something, but it's out there. You can't force your clock. <laughs> you tried it. You can't go to the ref and say, "Yo, it's actually only twenty seconds left on the clock." It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, here's a question for you, and I really want to know this one here. So, Lord Jamar and the comedian Godfrey are now trying to start a boycott on DJ Vlad for the things that he said about Farrakhan. He won't apologize. And if you don't know about Godfrey or about Vlad, they always on Vlad's page talking, speaking their mind. A lot of this shit has kept them relevant, right? So, what's up, Milo? They trying to start the, the boycott of DJ Vlad. My question is, why now? So, I watched this. It was my son. I think Royster 5 9 kicked it off. Right. And they were trying to hold Vlad account uh, accountable for misquoting Farrakhan. Right. So they was telling him he needed to apologize, and Vlad felt like, I just took down the footage. I'm not going to apologize. And then my son, who was his protector, came out and was like, you know what, now that I think about it, this nigga said he, he going to make money with or without black people, so he ain't going to apologize. So now they all on a kumbaya, let's cancel this nigga. But I don't understand how we ain't canceled yet. You're right, Fox. I feel the same way. Because every time I see some, especially somebody I know <laughs> on there, I'd be like, why the fuck did you go do that interview? What is the purpose of it? As we know, most people hate until they get the call. <laughs> why, but I don't understand. I'm trying to figure out why. Like, is there, And is everybody going to roll with it? Because even you get there, it'd be like, how you doing, Big Vine? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How's your family? Wonderful. Cool. I heard you and Dame was in a shoot in 05. Wait. Wait. Nigga, hold on. Nigga, I, didn't, I can't even talk about my album. How you talking about that? I didn't even know you knew about that shoot. Who told? You know See, what I mean? I, I think, too, like, we need, to we need to come up with rules for our, our, our hip-hop house guests. They, they, kept, they kept using that when, uh, when Royce and my sound was arguing. They were saying how, like, Vlad is a guest of hip hop. Eminem is a guest in hip hop. Like basically, white people are guests in hip hop. So what is what what is the rules for our our, our guests in hip hop? I can't. I don't. I think it was a. It's a melting pot of people that put it all together. So I'm not gonna call nobody a guest. But I do know what's well, black are, culture. It's urban culture because it was a lot of Spanish yeah, people did it. Right. Uh, Asian people that helped. Everybody helped. So I'm not going to say it's all. Black is black, man. Urban is urban. <laughs> I'm just saying urban. I'm going to put a blanket on it and say it's urban. I'm including everybody. But you can tell who the pilgrims are when they come in. He's a okay. pilgrim. Black. He's a pilgrim. Oh, 100%. 100%. I, I, the, the most cringeworthy thing he does in an interview is when he tries to like yeah, because I'm from the Bay Area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, listen, he possibly can be from the Bay Area, but he was not outside to claim that in the industry. How about that? 
So the only problem is the only thing you could do to equal this out, people, somebody else has to do the interviews and do the talking. So who's, who who should be our replacement? Sway. Oh, of course. He don't want to do it. He do he he gonna do his show. He he don't he don't have time. Sway will do like the legendary brothers. He, Sway's not gonna sit down with you and talk about some you, murder. I was gonna ask you though, will Sway talk to the the new kid with? He'll talk to the new kid, but you gonna you, he's gonna tell you about how to. What we need is how to uplift, get right, and be correct. Vlad is just trying to. Yo, he be asking about real murders and court cases and shit that you got pending. You're like, did I come here for this shit? Yeah, that's the difficult. Because, I mean, you really don't got to answer it, but you put a camera in niggas' faces and it's showtime at the Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> niggas get to talking. You shot him. Yeah, I got him three times. You know what I'm saying? Never found that gun, though. What the fuck is you doing? Stop talking. You're fucking up everything. But I guess they say what like so when do when do it become not respected? Like he interviewed the guy who who, who technically they said killed Michael Jordan. Dad. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or he interviews the girls who say Tupac raped her. Or you know what I'm saying? Like are are we would we interview it or are we saying like why would we even give them the shine? Because I don't I'm not a asking. lot of flack for that. I'm not asking. I'm not asking. Like, why would I want to talk to the girl, or why would I want to talk to these killers? And she's like, I'm not, not. I'm not doing it. For what? What I want to know? Do I believe the? If I do, do I believe the girl that said that Tupac did it? I'm just. She said it happened, so I'm just gonna roll with that. I don't want to interview her. See, if I ever got on Vlad, I'm. I'm. A, all my questions gonna be. So, what club did you DJ at when you were back in the Bay? Like, where? <laughs> So you cool with finding him? You, you was that cool with me? Like, I'm asking straight questions. <laughs> Niggas, you a fed. I think you have a badge. Why are you never in the camera, though? It feels like an interrogation every time I see somebody doing this shit. Why yeah, do you know so many court case joints? There? I feel like he's interviewing them like Charlie's Angels, like from a phone or something. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> he said the nigga was Charlie's Angel. No. I would no. He's there because he's bringing up facts and shit. They tell you say something. Why, well, right, man? I never did that shooting. Well, according to this nigga, turn around the motherfucking computer and shit. <laughs> and, he, and I hate that he always act like, oh, when I talk to so and such, they said this and play another clip of another nigga snitching on another nigga. I'd be like, yeah. yo, this. He, I think Vlad got the longest running court case show ever. His shit should be on some other shit. So he's passing people's court. You said, <laughs> oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, see, I, I would really do it just to cause conflict. I would got I gotta ask him a bunch of questions. Right? Like, <laughs> Wait, yo, what? So when, when, when Rick Ross punched you, how did you feel after you missed on it? Like, what was your, what was your, what, what went through your mind in the hip hop world? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna refer to him as Pilgrim. Every time he oh, asks me a question. We well, Pilgrim. Don't he's a Pilgrim. He came to the Indian. He's trying to give him a uh, smallpox in the blankets. I ain't fuck with that. I I've never it. seen him in the Bay, so. I seen him in here one time. Oh, I think I seen him at a uh, high road day. He came in, um, he came and doing, he was doing, he did a uh, documentary on Hyphy. He told me, he said, it reminds me of Africa and the tribal dancing. <laughs> Would you like to be, I like the interview for it. And I was like, yeah. No so thanks. He, he basically asked you to be Cooper Kid. Hundred percent. I was like, mm, no, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. The funniest thing is what he said. What he said. He's like, yeah, you know, I produced American Gangsta, uh, the Rumper Room. <laughs> He's like. Okay. <laughs> yo, but my shit with that is like, I know some of them people. I'd be like, yo, don't be what you're talking about. Why are you telling people stories? The fuck but out of here. But you know, I think one thing he, he cashes in because people want the attention now. Yes, That's I terrible. was the guy who shot up 100 people in 1983. <laughs> Niggas want to hey, tell them wait. stories. They be like, I shot up 100 people in 1983. Make sure y'all go buy my book, man. My book is about, <laughs> he be like, Bro. Bro.
The nigga got 18 episodes on the death of Tupac and got Tupac's killer. I was like, what are you doing? What, do we need this? I never felt better about that. He's, at a, media, all. he's a meteorologist. Man, he's a pilgrim. You know how I feel about pilgrims. It's a damn shame. You, you don't rock with him. At all. You know I hate him. And today's a sad day. Very Breonna good. Taylor did not get the justice that she deserves. That's all I got to say about that. I got more to say, but I'm trying to be cool. Because so basically they said a wall life is worth more than a black woman's life. Bruh, why be in Corday's bail for like for protesting was it like one million dollars? The cops bail was fifteen thousand. But then I um what kind of disappointed me was the what is he the black guy who came and spoke? The attorney. I'm not the attorney, district attorney or I think it, I know something, he is. Something yeah. that he was like he basically dissed the media and the black celebrities, like y'all don't live here. They don't live here. Don't let them influence y'all. This is terrible. You, you know, know what I messed up, man. But I was talking to DC today and I was like, I understand they got their blue wall code and all that shit like that. I think somebody got to go down. Like they got to have a meeting. Like, look here. What's the dude? They start with a C. I can't think of his name right now. I'm terrible on my news. But one of the dudes, they said the bullet came from his gun. But since the way that it went down and the way they had orders and they had warrants, he gets away. I'm like, somebody got to talk to him and be like, look, B, you got to take 10. You got to take 10, 15. 10, 15, go. You got to go. No no fighting against it. Just admit all the wrong you should have did because, I mean, the, the scary thing about it is, like, I know a lot of people getting fed up. Somebody's going to ultimately really get fed up. A hundred percent, hundred percent. I had a full fight today about the way it went down and the way the, the uh, officers went in there had the wrong information and that's why they was fucking up. And then somebody at the top got to go down too. I was like, but until somebody get charged with murder, like you're being charged with the murder of this, I said they're gonna burn that city down. So to yeah. save the city, somebody got to be like, hey, look, Bob. We need you to go on down there and put this jumpsuit on and do your time. And then I think the crazy part was I know her family was paid for wrongful death, but then they said basically it's not a wrongful death because you didn't charge the man. 100%. 100%. You gotta figure that out, man. It's all our people out there. Please be safe because, you know, they, they locked that shit down two days early. Like, when we put this verdict out, we know they're going to act up and we're going to start Somebody breaking out the batons. The police. And Where they shooting at? Two cops got hit. They out there? Yep. Yeah, they're going to they make it dangerous to us. Listen, some officers is just doing a job to where they're going to tell they like, hey, you know what? I ain't coming in today. <laughs> <laughs> You're not about to shoot me. I've got nowhere in there. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's me all day. I'm, going, I'm driving to work, turn on the radio. Uh, verdicts just in. They did not take down Brianna's. <laughs> hey, y'all, I ain't coming to work. Fuck what y'all talking about. Listen, Shit. man, when I, when I went to school at Hayward, man, it was the Mexicans versus the blacks. We was outnumbered. I knew they wasn't going to touch me. I called my mom. I said, yo, I don't think it's good for me to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, y'all want to turn up? Yeah, I'm not, yo. I not take the day off, man. Bruh, and then the homie, uh, the, no, Lex told me that one of the dudes, he was shopping. And somebody ran up on him with a uh, with a with a with a phone and videotaping like you just out shopping. Oh yeah, I see that dude. Like shit is sweet. Like shit is cool. Yeah, they ain't afraid. They not afraid. Hey man, as a people, man, we need to stick together and um, be safe though, man. Everybody should be safe because I'm just letting you know if your ass do something to one of these police officers, they gonna defend themselves. And I'm just letting you know that shit can hit the wrong way for a lot of us. You know what I'm saying? Hey. And and <laughs> I'm about to say some shit. It was cowardly as fuck. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> I was gonna say if you're on the front line, let that first nigga argue with the nigga with the shield and the baton. Don't be the first nigga in front of the shield and the baton going crazy. Let the nigga in front of you talk that shit. You can talk your shit from behind him. Cause when that baton hits, it's serious. I only been grazed. 
I ain't never been hit hit. I've been grazed. I, I've been hit with that that spray bomb. Listen, <laughs> call me what you want to call me. I am not a front line soldier, man. Now, listen, if y'all if y'all get him on the floor, I might come back over there and kill him. I'm not gonna be on the front line. <laughs> I ain't with the first hit. I ain't with the first hit. That first hit, that first full swing? No, you ain't finna Ricky Henderson oh, me. They go tear your head off of you the first one to get off. Nah, B, don't do it. They got on gear. Y'all ain't got on gear. I like when niggas be out there with the flip-flops and the shorts. You know what I'm saying? I we want right justice. <laughs> oh, they know <laughs> trying to run they right out of the flip-flops. The right tire to defend themselves. Bruh, put on your black Air Forces. <laughs> go out there looking like you mean business. <laughs> Stop bullshitting. Hey, what if, <laughs> Dress for the part. What are these rappers guys just donate black air forces to the right? Because you know it's going to be action. That's what it is. <laughs> Somebody need to make a song about the attire, about, you know, getting prepared for war. They, they're like, I, I don't, oh, I don't get it. Listen, if, if they if, if they need a, a protest and it's all black air forces, it's going to be that one black cop will go, hey, y'all, this is about to go that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we <might> <laughs> It'd be one nigga. He gonna he on the line too. He counting one, two, three, fifteen, twenty. These niggas get on black air forces. Oh nigga, I'm gone. Here, take this helmet, this shield. I ain't fucking with these niggas. And white cop gonna be like, what are, what are you talking about? Listen, dog, there's a difference between white air forces and black air forces. Hey yo, I'm gonna keep it hundred percent. It was just a little while ago too. <laughs> my my young homie Nico told me he was like, hey man. When you see a young nigga with those black Air Forces on, that means he come to do business. I said, so why would he wear his black Air Forces? If, if we see him coming, we know what he about to do. He says, that's just what it means. I said, oh, okay. I'm, I'm dapping you up different if I see you with air, black Air Forces. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing around here, bro? What's going on? Everything cool? We straight? Yeah, you good? We straight? How you feeling you know today? I mean? <laughs> That's got to be the uniform when they out here protesting. The black Air Forces, long sleeve shirts, Gap get it these, together. Get these niggas with these tank tops out there, bro. Tank tops, shorts, and flip flops. You know what I mean? Yeah, and we, we don't want the Malibu protesting. We need and here goes something for you. This, this, this. Uh, I'm gonna show you, man. Y'all call me pussy. Y'all call me pussy. I'm, I'm gonna say this, but if I go out there and I start seeing them white boys with them skateboards, I'm out. <laughs> Cause the white boys with the skateboards do the most damage. They be swinging the motherfuckers. Yo, go through all oh, the yeah, tapes yeah, of all yeah. the protests this year. If you see the white boys coming with the skateboards, some shit is about to get broke. Listen, the niggas be trying to hit the shield with the. You hit me with no. a skateboard, I'm shooting you. No, <laughs> it's certain objects you get hit with. I gotta just shoot you. I'm just letting you know right there. Yo, I fell on a skateboard wheel before. Imagine <laughs> niggas swinging at you. What? When you see them skateboards, I'd be like, yo, who, who brought the skateboard to the protest? When you hit me with a skateboard, a hacksaw Jim Duggan, two by four, I'm shooting you, man. I'm laying down. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't fucking with tear gas either. I don't fuck with tear gas. Yeah, tear gas could make the most gangsterous person cry, dog. Oh, you. my God. Chest start hurting. You can't breathe, sniffling and shit like that. You still trying Looking to Neil, Neil, Neil talking about he want all the smoke. All right, go ahead, Neil. All right, Neil, going out there then. We'll going shot out there. We'll shot y'all on PSP with that that knot on your head. <laughs> <laughs> shot the nigga Neil, lost a leg. <laughs> he tried to bite a tank when they came into the, to the area. It's not happening. You got to be some protocol. Yeah, man, we got to get right, though, man. We definitely need justice for Breonna Taylor, though. We need that for real. Where's the, where's the, who's the new Johnny Cochran? Why can't they? We got to get somebody to get out there and really get on the front line to be like like a like a high like a high profile firm that they all they just want just not Al Sharpton, a young nigga. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Al Sharpton is an attorney. <laughs> he can't do it. I know, but it's not like a like Al Sharpton old like you know like a young nigga out here or something like that. Like uh, I don't know. Better call Sal or something. Saul or something. I don't know. You gotta go get one of them young boys from Morehouse or so. Hey, they ain't you about to graduate, man. Hurry up and defend our our people, man. But then I think about that, it wouldn't work because the nigga go to give his speech. He got on Black Air Force. They'd be like, "Oh, this nigga with the shit. Here he come. Black Air Force wrong, talking man. shit. You know, and young niggas like to cuss. They gonna be on the news. This is some bullshit. 
Y'all punk ass. Oh, cut, cut. Back to you, Bob. They out here tripping. Yeah, man. Big, big rest in peace to Breonna Taylor. Oh, you know, um, Animal from the Legion of Doom passed away. I heard about that today. Greatest tag team of all time is officially both gone. Bro, some of the best moves I put on my younger cousins came from them. Dog, that that oh your shoulder move, that close out is not for the week, dog. <laughs> 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 That's how you know you're getting old. Your favorites yeah, start just dying off. Yeah, I don't even know. There's probably like 10 people left from the 90s there. <laughs> Who? Nah, they living. Hogan. We got Ric Flair, Hogan. Who else? Oh, yeah, we got Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. Like, you right here. We got about Bret, Hart got, Bret Hart got jumped at his acceptance speech to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> that, that changed the game. I was like, did y'all jump Bret Hart? That's no respect for a nigga out here. At all. How you jump my favorite wrestler? Did you jump Bret Hart? They jumped Bret Hart at his acceptance speech. That's how y'all know the world is fucked up. Nobody cares anymore. Yeah, I'll let you know the wrestler's getting old. He couldn't even turn around faster than I was like. <laughs> Bret is over, man. Bret now, over. If, he, if he could have got one good move off on a nigga on that last joint, we'd have been like, here come Fana with the Shawn Michaels. Have you seen Shawn Michaels lately? Oh, that man bald head. It's like <laughs> skin know, bad, liver you know, spots. Michael, Michael Jack, I understand what Michael Jackson. When Michael Jackson made that song. Have you seen my childhood? I understand now, man. <laughs> Shawn Michaels is a bald head. <laughs> 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 Yo, Jay was. I, I can't talk about Jimmy Superfly Snooker oh, beat. Jimmy is. Oh, you must have seen his. Uh, the, the dark side of the ring. Yeah, Jay was. Oh, the dark side. my God. Jimmy was not who we thought he was. <laughs> Jimmy was with the shit. Jimmy. I was like, oh, no, not Jimmy. Hey, but Jimmy, do, Jimmy did it still without a wrestle that night. That's a different type of individual, bro. My brother. Can't get it. What else we missing in the world today? I just been off the internet today. I didn't know what else was going on. Oh, how, okay. how do you feel about uh, girls buying their man Maybachs? I think she leveled it out because a lot of girls they was doing all that. My man got to do this. Man, we we man, we got somebody to be like so. That Look Maybach here. Wait, 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 wait. Just and I, I understand the money bag. Yo, is your family? It's your family now. I understand that. I get that. But she bought him a Maybach. Yeah. She bought she, him. She she bought it. She bought it. She went to the store at with her money and bought him a Maybach. I can't co-sign it. Yes. <laughs> you went with her? No, because look, this how I know. She's like one of the biggest popping black socialites. So she what that mean, back. nigga? That ain't no W-2s of that shit. She get a lot. She get a lot of money herself, man. Damien Abdul Aubrey. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you telling me she bought him that? Yeah. You seen the? You seen her do it? He didn't even know it. I'm nigga. No, stop, bro. Stop playing. All right, so you know you, I'm bye, letting bye, you. Bye. Listen, bye. You think you wouldn't realize two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars is missing in your account? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I want to know. I don't believe it. I don't believe shit. I don't believe shit. You gotta show me something. You gotta show me something. What kind of car she got? He bought her a lamb truck. Oh, he bought her a truck. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I don't know these things, so. Yeah, I think, don't know. Yeah, lamb truck, an orange one or something okay. for her birthday. You know, more a little okay. story, women. Before y'all get to bragging about the nigga buying you something, be so you ready? <laughs> be so be ready to throw it back down. <laughs> it ain't no more that that high fashion that you get him just a little PlayStation game. <laughs> <laughs> so they got the the bar got rose because the Ari girl brought him a Maybach. That's what it yep. is. So all them girls be bragging on the internet. Yes, it did. Why? How? Because That's what he, couples should do? 
she, I think she balanced it out. Buy the nigga an apartment building or something. Do that. Show me that, that would be that, fire. That would be impress me. Let me write that in my notes. Let me tell him. Let me tell him. Buying niggas cars that devalue and no, no. <laughs> what the like? I don't understand. I was sitting there like, wait, this really happened? I don't, I don't believe this. So, Brian, if a woman bought you a lamb, uh, 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 any a Maybach, what would you right. do? Return it. <laughs> there you go. I'm returning it. Oh, she gotta get you a truck. You're right. You don't drive cars. Even even that nigga to upkeep alone <laughs> is gonna kill you. What you think? What you think the tune up is on a goddamn Maybach? Well, I don't think you're supposed to drive the Maybach like a Honda. <laughs> you. <laughs> I drive trucks like sports cars. So you know I'm about to wear some shit all the way out. Ah, it's a lease. Mm, that I might believe. She did it though. I don't no. know. I don't know the details. <laughs> it, know they, the here's another thing. They don't even live in Vegas. Oh, you got to ship. It was just for the, the birthday. You ship it to the home. You know what? I'm so tired. Of this, this, right? Ain't no fucking lifestyle. <laughs> we in a pandemic. Two hundred thousand people done died from coronavirus. Ain't shit open. Niggas <laughs> fighting over toilet paper, and now y'all telling me that niggas need to be bought Maybachs. What? No, I'll be happy saying, with some Lysol wipes. <laughs> I just said, ladies, if you requested, if you on your city girl hike, just know <laughs> his birthday comes too. You know what I'm saying? And, the balance, Vine. Ain't you ain't, ain't you tired of the the you, you do you do the tricked out Christmas birthdays and then you just get a pair of Jordans? <laughs> <laughs> I get I got I got a t I got a man made T shirt one time that didn't fit like didn't know my size I was crushed I was like really I paid for all this shit huh oh well no you gotta, you gotta Listen, either you got to come with the fire again or you got to come to something that means something. <laughs> Team Monroe is like, what does she do for a living? I need to know. And cologne uh, is not sufficient. And you know what else is not a gift, ladies? Take a guess. It rhymes with Ussie. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not a gift. They always do that shit. Here. I know what I got you. I got you something special for your birthday. What? That's, a, that's like rewrapping a gift and giving it to me. I don't want that. That's not a gift. I don't want Madden 19. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing no. for a year. Give me Madden 20. Like what, like, what happens? Like, no. Yes, it is. Nobody want no fucking cologne. I want no cologne. I don't want no fucking shirt. It depends. I, want... I got some fire cologne, but Morris, don't buy me no curve, man. Go make sure it's some fire cologne, man. He said OG curve. <laughs> no. I I give her that. I give her that. If she got it for him and she got him a car, I'll give her the credit. How about I that? Lie, I, I've been on the end of a lot of great I've been, I've received a lot of gifts though. A lot of dope gifts though. Like what? Uh like I got the uh the record player with like ten vinyl joints that I like, my favorite album. Like I got some fire stuff that I actually use today. Yeah, you know see, that's the people don't understand that. Get a gift that a motherfucker gotta <laughs> use every day, and not cologne. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then after after I get like, if see, cologne is something like, what made you like that? Because the last nigga smelled like that. And you want me to smell like that, nigga? I'm not wearing that shit. <laughs> I'm not wearing that. I respect you. I respect you know what I mean? Like, what made you? I love that cologne. Oh, who? Man, fuck this cologne. <laughs> but if I dress you in the shit the last bitch used to wear and I like, you be mad. I get out there and give me a... <laughs> I almost shed a tear when she gave me uh, Juvenile 400 Degrees on vinyl. It was like, it was so... I was like, you... I had to cover. I was like, you shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There he is. Oh. Rob. Oh. That's Rob. That's South Star. It's my man. I ain't seen you in a long time, man. Salute you, man. I took him to uh, wherever, whatever. It was a club where McDonald's used to be. I took them there. Him and uh, I took them there a long time ago, man. I ain't seen y'all hella long. Hey, they, Salute they you, pimp. Really, I felt like I was really spitting a lot of game when I used to recite their lyrics to girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I'm telling you, though, when, 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 when Smile said that, my friends is my friends. Your friends is my friends. Yo, dope is my dope. I was like, he's a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem, see? But you understand this. Like, I always tell y'all this all the time. We was all raised off rap tapes, bro. So, and y'all fight me on this all the time. And we was raised by rap tape. Kids is raised by these rap streams. So what right. we learned, what you think they learning now? Shit. How to sell pussy. <laughs> That's what they learning. Thank you to Neil and the City Girls. <laughs> Man, I got in so much. I was in this thing. There's like this, this, this chat room where everybody gets to talk and speak. And I said that. <clears throat> and what chat, chat rooms are you in, Bob? Uh, it's just, it's just crazy. <laughs> it's like this. It was just this, this entrepreneur type, whatever role building thing. And they wanted me to come in there, and I was chatting and talking, and they was they was all being professional. And I just came back with it. Yeah, but uh, they selling pussy. And then all you heard was, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then I almost got kicked out because somebody somebody came out and said, he said the best lady rappers are shaped like security guards. And you did. <laughs> <laughs> These are facts. Our, some of our best, most of our best, if they, female MCs were shaped like security guards, and that's it. And I'm standing by that. Bon believes that he, he, he feels that strongly, you ladies. So if you don't look like a security guard and you rap, let's turn it up so we can change my thoughts. Matter of fact, if you about to join the freestyle joint, I see you walk up. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. Here she go with the button up and the beanie. <laughs> oh, she's about to be jacket. serious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is she gonna secure the building, or is she about to kick some of that fire? Listen, Both. You a security guard, and you rap, and you gonna present violence and music. Wear your jacket. I guarantee you gonna get a spit. <laughs> off top, off top. But just don't, don't come off like you about to spit real raps. And you start off with this pussy is so wet. Whoop whoop. And like, I don't believe you, Shirley. It's some bullshit. I believe you secure a building, but I don't believe it's wet in there. I think Why you got on boxers. Be, Why are they gonna be Shirley? <laughs> <laughs> Big Shirley. That's what I'm rolling with. Big Shirley. They call me Shirley. Shirley's my hat. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I mean? That's the best ones. The best ones that wouldn't look good in bikinis. They be like, they rap the hardest. Hard. They got shit to prove. Fight niggas, do all they types of shit. Way more creative. Yeah. Right. See, it's hard out there. When you're pretty, then you get off, you get, get a curve for your looks a little bit. When you hard though, pfft. they got respect it. Off top. Most Check a nigga one time. Look like they are wearing boxes. Now that I think. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you are a wild man, dog. You are a wild man. These are things that, that you guys can all take with you. And you could think about, because this is all real shit. You know what I mean? Think about these things. I'm only here to share. We're here to help each other every night. You know what I mean? Because when I said it, y'all laughed and like, oh, you tripping. But when you think about it, like, not only could she do it before she was rapping, but after. She could probably secure that building. Big security guard. I see I'm going to ask her if she rap. She's like, yo, you rap. <laughs> she going to give you some bars. Some bars. <laughs> You know, and they be hella buff with the big upper top and those large titties. <laughs> Yo, Bob is out here. Wild. I'm wild. I'm wild. Bruh, when they be like sturdy and the titty be mad big, you know, a bra strap is like that big. It's a big bra strap. You be like, ooh, either you gonna fight or you about to kick fire. You basically said they look like Ray Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all go through your list of what I went through. It's not disrespectful, sassy. It's real shit. Go down the list. I'm trying to end. I'm go down you. the list. I'm not disrespectful either. I love every one of these women. Queen Latifah. MC Light. Lady of Rage. Yo, yo. Queen Pin. <laughs> 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 they tried to hide it with a big fur. <laughs> Missy. <it. laughs> you said that. You said that. I was just naming what you said. Yeah. <laughs> she was a fly one. She was more like a substitute teacher or some shit, though. 
But I'm telling you. Oh, now nah, I'm not cool. Now nah, I'm not cool. Who Tell them Fox. Was a female rapper. Angie Who? Martinez, was she a female rapper? She was a radio jock before that, but she not. She she was good. <laughs> oh, Rod Digger. She wasn't a big one though. She was like like you know. The female rapper look like security guard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not reading that. Don't read Mizzles. Don't read Mizzles. Those are family. I'm going to get in trouble. Hey, Miss this Melody, my, for this, sure. This, this is my man, Halil. He, 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 he A&R and Dev Jam down there. He's looking for security guards. <laughs> Yo, tell him. <laughs> hey, tell him. The best ones work from 11, 11 to 4 a.m. Just go to buildings and knock on the door and see if they're there. But I said, go to, go to Walmart from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Those are your best <laughs> options. <laughs> the one who, he said the one who put the highlighter on your <laughs> There you go. There you go. Every time you walk into the Walmart, they helping you walk in it. Hey, yo, you see you run? You spit? You look sturdy. I bet you got fire in there. <laughs> you look sturdy, man. I'm out. <laughs> I bet you got a hard drive in that big ass bra and it's not her work shirt. <laughs> Pull out that hard drive, out that bra. Yo! Oh, uh, look, Head walking in. Here he about to start some shit. I'm not doing it today. Hey, Head been on his motivational shit lately. Head full of shit. What he do is talk to you, and then he take the piece of you and him talking, and he only play your part. That nigga play me. Head play the whole clip. Hey, Head is the new inspiration. If, if life feel like it's getting too hard for you, don't quit. Just find another <laughs> passion. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how hard it is for me not to write, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Take that Rev Run shit down the street. Hey, head, hey, hey, Rev Run. <laughs> Keep you fucking with it. You can see where the comments like, you talking that shit, head. You talking that shit. Yeah. It's, it, it, no, I'm not doing it. I know you, nigga. You can fool them people, but you can't fool me. you snake oil salesman. I love your head. <laughs> when life gets hard, don't cry, but shed a tear or two. You'll be oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> when life give you lemons, just season it on some salmon and have a good dinner <laughs> and let remind everybody to how you eating. What? Shut up. <laughs> he said, uh, negative. I want quitters to quit. Get out of my way for the winners. Whatever. You pick on kids. <laughs> I, heard, I, heard, I heard head on the new YG record, too. He was on it? The bell out. He was like, oh, YG is bailed out. Yeah, he at the end of the song. Oh, what? Yeah, they getting they, they getting they, they LA radio uh, Ah. So head is see what you, Hey, man, that's the way you got to do it. Get out there. I'm going to do the same shit. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm making offensive, uh, nasty roller skate rap. <laughs> I'm being backed up by big security rapping ladies. My shit going platinum, baby. Y'all need we drums, man. Hit me. I'm, I'm going to send them divine. <laughs> Come drums. on, man. Join the group, man. We joined it. I told you we Bass Rock 85. That's the name of the group. We Bass Rock 85. You know what I mean? You know why I call it Bass Rock 85, right? Explain. I never knew. Because that's when crack hit Oakland. Oh, true. Can I get a butter cake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me one, too, nigga. <laughs> and I said, you know what? With all the bad things going on, I said, y'all, yes, y'all still, still got butter cakes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no justice in the world. Do you have butter cake? <laughs> it's making everything feel better. Niggas is crazy. Oh, Trinity Supreme Power, what's happening? Love you. We put a big vine on. Of course, we are. Who said that? Oh, yeah. Watch. Y'all think I'm playing, right? They think I'm bullshitting. Wait till you hear this new one is coming out. Oh, man. You never texted to me. I did. Nah, you tried to play it and it was the speaker was stripping. He's like, I'm going to text it. I'm going to send you the new shit. It's one I've been working on for 10 years. It's called Clap Ho. Oh, you please send me that. <laughs> I got my headphones. I'm going to keep my headphones in my ear just to hear it. So look here, man, because I ain't trying to make BT. I'm trying to make CNN. <laughs> I'm trying to get it put up on that. You know what I mean? I'm thinking like, what the fuck? Who allowed you to come in here? That's what I'm here for, people. To start shit. Let's get it. All right, y'all. It's PST. We do it like this every night. 8 o'clock. The boy Dane, Big Vaughn, and Butter Cake. Make sure you get some. <laughs> Send some to me, nigga. Just share. I got you. Peace.